is a tutorial on how to make Rocky Road. Um, this meeting, and if you do this, this will complete your cooking badge. So, um, yeah, so first of all, you have to wash your hands to make sure you don't have dirty hands and don't get ill from the bacteria you've got on your hands when you're putting it in the food and everything. I've already washed my hands. So I'm gonna put all the ingredient measurements at the end of the video, or I'll just put a little um, comment. So first of all, we're gonna need 200 grams of dark chocolate and you're gonna to wanna to break it up like in little squares like this. So just snap the chocolate and break it up and put it into your bowl. Um, and you do that for the other piece of chocolate as well. So you, you'll need two bars of dark chocolate and you just break it up. Um, and this is going to go in the microwave. So you can get an adult to help you with the weighing of the butter. So you're going to want to put the chocolate and the butter in the microwave for 30 seconds. And if that's not enough and everything's not melted together, then you can put as much time as needed on high heat. So once it's come out of the microwave, you want to stir it. And it should like look a bit separated like this. But if you keep stirring, it should turn into this. It should turn into just smooth chocolate. So for the biscuits, um, it doesn't have to be exactly 100 grams, but the amount of biscuits should be the closest you can get to 100. What we're going to do with the biscuits is we're just going to hold them over their bowl and just crumble them in your hands so they're like little chunks. So once the biscuit's in, I'm just going to mix it. And next we're going to put two tablespoons of golden syrup in. So one. It's quite sticky, so you don't really have to get it that precise. And two. And you can just use the other spoon to just scrape it off. And then mix that around. Next measure 50 grams of marshmallows. Pour that in and mix. And then 50 grams of raisins. This is optional because some people might not like raisins. So, and then mix that all in. Next we are going to line the tin with grease proof, proof paper. So you just put your tin on the grease proof paper. And you should draw around the tin to give you an outline like this. And with the help of a parent, you should have cut out the outline so it looks like this. Use the lid or the little seal that comes on top of the butter to butter your tin. So once your outline and greaseproof paper is in your tin and looks like this and is all pressed down, you can add the mixture. Once you've made your mixture and it's in the tin, you can put this in the fridge for two to three hours. 